Let's get rid of some stuff with quick start. What? God damn it, stupid deposit all! Hello everyone, this is Baum and welcome to episode 9 of this Let's Play the Avalon Mod Pack series. Just in case you guys didn't know yet, a couple of days ago my friend of Dead Games Low told me that they are going to set up a permanent running Terraria server. And they asked me to make a video for this server. I was like, yeah, of course. So I came up with this trailer, let's take a quick look at it. Feel free to click at it and watch the whole trailer. Also I want to mention that this trailer got promoted by my biggest idol, Ryan. He is probably the main reason why I've started this channel, so it's such a great honor to get promoted by him. So I just want to say thank you very much Ryan and keep making these awesome videos. And oh yeah, before I forget, welcome to super hard mode guys. And the first thing we are going to do is to finally break these hallowed altars. Oh hey there dragonfly, I'm here to murder you and take your stuff if you don't mind. Well, 16 silver coins will do just fine. Alright, here we go, first hallowed altar down and nothing happened. Let's break the second one. Interesting. Now the third altar. Aha, your world has been melted with magmatic ore. Ah, help! <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> Sneaky bastards! Yay! More altars to break! Break, 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 break! Ooh, a comet has struck ground! Whoa! The fuck is this? It's like an ultra corruptor! Ho ho! We are able to mine it, and this stuff is called Ever Ice. Just like the meteorite of the vanilla game, this comet spawns monsters too. And these comment tails seem to be quite strong. So they are really annoying. If you guys were wondering where I fought the Armageddon slime, well, here is your answer. I built this temple out of demonite brick, pearl stone brick, obsidian walls and lava. I think it turned out quite nice. Also after the fight this chest spawned right next to me and today we are going to have a look what this chest contains. Alright, 14 Dragonlord bait, hallowed bars, dark matter ore, reinforced glass, a platinum coin, 2 blackened flames and 3 attraction potions. What? Attraction potions? Do you seriously think that I'm not attractive enough yet? I mean, look at me, I look gorgeous with my fabulous bloodstained hat. <laughs> Close enough. What happened here? Black sand block. I can't remember you being here. Man of War? I think you spawned at the wrong place, sir. Oh, perfect. These should be the last hallowed altars on this map. Awesome! Through all the glow sticks! Yeah! Oh, hey, little turtle. Aw, oh, that was one cute little turtle. Hello, Sky Fortress. I know about your existence. Also, I heard you contain goodies for me. The chances are high that these goodies are in this chest, so where is the entrance? Found it, let's break in. Come on stupid harpies, I'm trying to do stuff here, leave me alone. Ah, too much stuff in my inventory, enemies are spawning, can't handle the situation. Okay, got it. Now you're dead wyvern, sneaking up on me while I was struggling with my inventory. Not cool man, not cool. What? Another Y1? God damn it! Leave me alone, you bastard! <laughs> I just want to loot this fortress. <laughs> Why are you guys so mean? Finally, we managed to reach the chest. Busted Dragonstone. Provides immunity to flying creatures. Meh. What else? Again, Dragonlord bait, dark meta ore, reinforced glass, two platinum coins, four soul essences. That's nice. Another blackened flame and again three attraction potions. As if three of these potions weren't enough in the first place. Psh. I look fabulous, god damn! I will also take these hallowed stone blocks with me, because you never know if you could need them, right? Hey sub guide, it's me again. I got some questions. What can we make with Ever Eyes? Berserker ore, therefore we need oblivion ore, dark meta ore and Ever Eyes. 
Alright, Ever Ice Bar. We can make an Everfrost Breastplate with it, which seems extremely powerful. But I'm missing too many items to craft this. A super hard mode bar. That has to be the endgame stuff. Okay, Dragonlord Bait. It's used to make another summoning item. Summons the Dragonlord. Well, next time we will fight him, I guess. To craft Berserker Ore you have to stand next to a Demon Altar. And let me take this ore here. Ouch, it burns! As I thought this is Magmatic Ore. Next mysterious ore we are going to mine. Iron Ore, Meteorite, Boot! Oh, I see, it's random what ore you get out of this. Actually, this is a very cool idea. Oh, what? The Catarist? Oh, shit! I'm not so sure if we are able to kill him in this shitty spot. Well, everything went better than expected. Also, we got some free source of plight, which is fantastic. Alright, welcome to my oblivion or generating facility. Oh, wow, hey, mechanical digger. Well, he didn't drop anything special. Here we go, both monsters are ready to fuse. Come on, guys, do it! Hell yeah, we got a bunch of oblivion ore ready to mine. Awesome! He dropped source of vigor. Give me what? Am I full again? Oh yeah, we are. All right, here we go. Yeah, finally we got some berserker bars. Awesome. Berserker anvil used to craft ultra high end items. <laughs> Awesome description. I'm considering to craft this item, the Berserker Nightmare. I think this flail could be very useful against Oblivion. And it's not that hard to create, actually. Yeah, super hard mode bar. Let's check what it's used for. Wait, what? Oh, super. I just made something that is completely useless. Awesome. <laughs> Oh man, I guess they will add the proper use for this item in a future update. Jesus, this thing looks horrifying. I almost chest my pants. <laughs> and for the fuck of the sakes, I'm going to craft a new armor because people were already upset that I never craft a new one. So here we go, we are going to craft a Casium armor set. Before we are going to collect the materials for the armor set, I just want to create a hard mode bar just to see what we can make with it. Eye of Oblivion. Phew! Thank god we just need a few items for this. <laughs> okay, I'm... <laughs> Alright, so we can craft this bar. I will just call this bar... Um, John. John's bar, right? Okay, I'm collecting just a few more casium ore and hellstone. I'm just a few parts short. So now we are ready to craft this set. We will start with the headpiece. 40 casium bars, 10 hellstone bars and 10 source of sight. Okay, the plate mail. 55 casium bars, 10 hellstone bars and 10 source of might. And the greaves. 35 casium bars, 10 hellstone bars and 10 source of fright. Let's equip it very quickly and have a look at the stats. The headpiece provides 25 defense, 20% melee damage and 12% increased melee speed. Let me take away the bloodstained helmet so you guys can see how the set looks like. Okay, and the set bonus is the cross necklace effect. The plate mail gives us 19 defense, the thorn potion effect, the hunter potion effect and 10% increased critical strike chance. Casium grief, 16 defense, 10% increased range and magic damage. Well, always nice to have. 20% increased movement speed, plus 18 max mana and we can double jump. Hooray! <laughs> 
Okay, before I end this episode, I want to point out that I might create a second channel and it's going to be a German speaking channel. So if you are interested in this maybe second channel, check out this video where I talk about it. In German of course. Also some viewers ask for a map download, which is also available in the description box now. So that's it my friends, I want to say thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day and stay awesome!